Hello and welcome back out today for a solo mooch uh, up in Rosendale. Probably going to do some surface exploration because I'm on my own. I don't fancy going down any mounds on my own, even though people know I'm out. And I'll text them when I'm uh, when I'm finished. So we're just going to have a mooch about and probably have a look at some of the tramways and other features that we don't normally get but see. We're just too preoccupied with getting underground. So I'll be back with you when I find something interesting. Right, so that rock face that you see in front of you there, I think would have been the original exit out of here. And just going into the valley there, I'll pick more of this up later, would have been the tram lines that took everything, took all the stone out to the main road. Right, so that just down there, is the uh, dead sheep cave let's have a wander in see what's what see what state the sheep's in oh here's some pieces Nothing left of it. So what's left of that sheep and the bones. And right, as you can it. see, there's not much left of that sheep anymore. It's only been a year since went down there, it's all gone. And for some weird reason it's moved as well. Maybe foxes have been down here and had most of it don't know. Anyway, time to do a bit more mooching. <laughs> So there, that is the waterfall that if you go through one of the entrances you can uh, access a small opening there, I don't advise going through it, it's that wet. Right, while we're here, let's have a, a quick gander at that waterfall over there. Yeah, you, when you get part way in here you can actually hear this water. It does run inside of the mine, forms a little bit of a river. I don't know if this would have been a, a deliberate entrance or exit, or whether that water has just slowly eroded all that shale away. Probably more probable. Not really a, a way of getting in or out, unless it was an emergency. I figured you'd manage it then. Right, today's plans have changed. I was doing some surface stuff and I just bumped into two other YouTubers. So I'm back underground. It's good Friday, it's an even better Friday now. I'm out with Richie Wellock. And just down in the distance there is Antonio, Underground Explorers UK. I passed that last time I was in here. Yeah. I think it was it here where we said we're going to follow the railway or was it further along? I don't know. Well, that's just a stall anyway, isn't it? So. I don't remember going over this, do you? I don't think so. Shall we go a bit further? Shall we go? I think it's further down here. Just a bit further. We started seeing some eighteen signs, and that's where. Don't have to ask me. Where's the shoe exactly? Kind of. I definitely recall following that brain string to one of the exits in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Must have done the 
How much must that line have weighed when they brought it in though? What's that? How much weight would that line have weighed? Yeah. But, um, we tried to follow it to get out to just see if we could. And it came when it was going in circles, didn't it? It did, yeah. Right. This is where I think we made the change. Because this is the... Yeah, that's another dead end, isn't it? Where does this come from? Right, that's all loose end, so that's yeah. fine. And you've still got the brown and the blue going in the same direction. Yeah. I think we need to follow it. Oh, it ends there. Yeah. We never made the rest of it. No. Should we right. take two the middle? Oh, it doesn't go on after that. Right. Right, I think, I think that's got to be the roadway. That we were meant to follow. Shall we try? Shall we forget this? We know the way back is that way off the line, yeah? Let's try. Let's try straight up there. Okay. So we just checked the maps. We need to be heading this way. If uh, we've got any chance to explore uh, deep into this area of mine. I think we are at it. We are. We are at it. Isn't that where we can get to? Yes. Or wrong? No, you are wrong. Keep going. Keep going straight ahead. Yeah. No, the new one was more curved, wasn't it? It was, it was more like an actual roadway, the other one. Yeah. I remember. <coughs> I'm going to keep an eye. You see, this, uh, this temple, so obviously, originally, there would have been a lot of, uh, a lot of the sandstone rocks sat on them, really, but eventually it's collapsed over, and surprising, the temple still remains in place, really. <laughs> okay, so you can see on this roadway already where where the slippers would have been sat across. There are remains of some of some of the slippers here. If you look, but they're quite rotten. Now the nice things. Oh, here's some of one of the nails we talked about. Uh, it would be nice to see some rails. I don't remember there being rails here. Mm. Or oh, have you seen rails here, Dave? I've not seen any uh, metal rails. No, here. no, they're, they're kind of loose on the side, but not uh, on the actual roadways, as you would hope to see, kind of thing. Yeah, because well, that, that's the piece of resistance when you see sleepers down and there's rails down. It's like, it, it just looks more... Just some more organic, not that, right? Oh wow, we 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 are in a mine. Yeah, it's what mines are all about, are they? All the industrial remains, really. The confined stuff. And off sea traverse. I don't remember any of this, Richie. No, neither do I. But this is kind of rough around you. Kind of remember you Yeah. But well, the good thing is, you can always have We haven't yeah. deviated off the yeah, roadway. Yeah. So, so We're good. Right. Cave rescue. Oh, look. Oh. Look, look. Cave rescue operation. So, there's, there's some signs of the cave rescue operation here. <coughs> so we should find. We've got. We should find some more signs. We've got some stack dead and it's going, going off. I don't know how long it goes on. Right. You see, it's travel. So this, so this is cool because here we have we have a roadway here, yeah? Okay. And on the roadway, we're going to follow back the obvious route. Okay. So, not the less obvious route, but the obvious route that way. Right, at least we 
we've got a we've got a nice railway. It's not yeah. it's not but the railway I remember. It, no, it's not the road you uh, I remember either. But it is a railway. We are coming to something though. I'm not too sure what though. Uh, nice bit of that to uh, Steve Delta bed there. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's very prominent, isn't it? That's very prominent, yes. What's that? The uh, sea, the delta bed. Fossilised yeah, delta bed. Any signs, any, any, AD, any D signs, any? There is a down sign which has been put in by spray paint a lot later on. Uh, ahead of us is just a... Uh, right, B. Ah, so. right. So, we are, we are getting close to a B road. Let's have a look. Yeah. So, there is a route, but they may actually join up anyway. So, um, we'll, stick, we'll stick to this route and we'll see if it can be a ground flow anyway, which it might. Join us. Because we are, we are definitely getting deep now in the mine now. We are heading on the northern direction where it's just going to take us deep, really. It does look like a main truckway or roadway. One white line was bringing us round here, and the other one was. Yeah, so, well, so if we were to return that way, we need to go to the right. Don't on we? the right yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The one that's next to the beer. Oh, that would be really quite nice right now. <laughs> <sighs> Why didn't I bring yeah. these three stellars? <laughs> ready for going that isn't it? It is. It doesn't mean the roof will, will go with it but... I have, I have been in a section of this where there's large squares of the roof that's moved. Like th that's going to go very shortly, that, that layer yeah. there. But Let's follow it but the thing is which line do we follow? If it's still... Well if, if we get back to that mark if we need to return we know it's the right hand side. Yeah. That is basically that would be the one that goes straight ahead. Let me see. I'm not sure if we're gonna actually find this from a tramway again. Quite last time, you know. I think I think it would be a matter of tracing our steps back. Let's follow this way a bit anyway. Because we got a line, we can't really get oh, past here, can we? Oh easily. Just come look right. Yeah. Punk wood in it. And if you think that was a sleeper at some point. Yeah. Right, this takes us straight ahead. So the line that we have to follow back is going straight ahead, yeah? Just, just look at this sleeper. How, how quickly a whole sleeper will just crumble. Yeah, this is. That's like balsa wood now. Wow. This wood is. Yeah, totally rotten, isn't oh, it? We've got a marker. It's Z30. What do you think? No, it says to Z. 
37, I think. 37. Z, Z37, so that's another another clue, let's follow it. Right, are we, do you want to go above the pile or should we stay at the top? Right, let's... The question is, does this carry on now? Shall I have a scout? We'll have a look. Have a scout, if, yeah. there's, if, the, if the line retakes and if there's a roadway taking off, <clears> and <throat> I'm going to look at the map. <laughs> But we're not going to take chances. I think it carries on that. So you've got all these yellow markers, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, they, those are the cave rescue operation yeah. markers. Right, the head looks okay. There doesn't seem to be anything flaking from the. Uh, okay, I see. Yeah. I'm continuing. Uh, is there any ropes though, or anything? Um, the ropes? I will oh. have to go about 30 yards to look. It's not chair though. There is a rope there, yes. Yeah. I think it was here two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But that, that's the thing, because it's like, I think, you know, it yeah. kind of all looks the same. Or to a great extent, anyway. That's it, there's probably four more little caverns like this in here, exactly the same. it being sand or gritstone it, it's not very good at <laughs> cutting it would rather break itself so we have gone over collapse and we are leaving a blue line we we kind of establishing in a way uh, a route that we can follow in you know in posterity I guess you know uh, I mean, because the thing is, when you go, when you come, when you come back to a collapse like this, you you can start asking yourself, actually, I don't recognise this. Did I come over here? And then you'll see the blue line that we left, and you'll be like, yeah, okay, that's that's the way. We found a nice roadway leading up. Okay. The old uh, rail track. Yeah, I've got an out sign there as well. Well, okay, so we we have we have a nice roadway here. We actually have quite a nice roadway here, which is lovely.
Yeah? Yeah. That's it. That's that's that the tortoise shell. Yeah. That's what. That's the tortoise shell effect I was on about. That looks lovely. That. Yeah. Oh, in front of your camera. Then. <laughs> that would just look now, absolutely stunning. Now, yeah. interest. I mean, is this the actual sediment that's been folded this way? I'm I'm inclined more to think that there's like a pattern of oxidation in the rock. And for whatever reason, the pattern is gone like snaking, like curvy. You know, uh, we were saying about this uh, sandstone, that's got to have a very, very high, high content of uh, iron. Mm. When you look at the color of it, it's very oxidized, everything. That's cool. What do you think, guys? Is it the iron that cements the sand together? It would help, yeah. yeah. But I think the main cementing agent would be either calcium carbonate or silica could be. Right. At these days, it's the actual iron content which is making it pull apart. Hey guys, you missed this. Bit of rail here. Oh, no. I like to show that out, yeah, before, yeah. Nice, so it's nice to see a bit of rail. Right, and we said we're going to look at the map. I'm not trying which we found last time, you know. No. <laughs> I thought we were on the right trip at one stage, and then... Uh, we keep going this way. Nice lines way. going this way. I think it's we need to fold the lines now. It's really, it's really funny. But which lines to follow? I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah, stacked decks look beautiful, yeah. This is, uh, I mean, this is kind of a rough stack of decks and, and it looks like they might have been kind of in a rush to do this, but still a stack of decks by the miners. Yeah. You know, which takes us back over a century here. I mean, this is a good 10 foot, am I right to say? Yeah. I don't know if to believe it or not, there's what something which says 20A plus here. Um, it doesn't mean that it's part of the original. It doesn't. Right, okay, for rescue operation science again. And I'm sure I've seen there a sign for, right, 20A plus. It looks more new. So we've got to be a little bit careful that someone hasn't. Um, yeah, but it's, it, is, it is one of the markers, 100%. Oh, that's fine. Here we have like a, one of the last working areas of the mine. Yeah. You know how they were working? They were working top down. They were digging basically the seam over the rock and then down. Because mm. bottom off, obviously, if you were going against gravity, it wouldn't make sense, would it? No. This area is magical. So, we're going to look at the map. There we are. So, 20 <clears throat> A plus. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'll look at rescue maps. So, uh, the only one which is CRO is going up this way. Right, it says to 19A plus. There we go, 19A plus here on the floor. And the blue line is apparently out. So we follow the green line now? So there's different lines, this is where, where we've got to be careful. Okay? Yeah. Green. Where's the sign that you found? Um, that, that, just, just, oh, there you go. 
So we've got it here. Yeah. Right here. 19 A plus. With that. Before, before we go, because there's the tape rescue operation signs there, so do we want to follow that way, maybe? Over a collapse. You want to get some yellow line here, I think. I think let's be safe. Get some yellow line because we're going to get confused coming back with that many lines. We know we know we are just round the corner to the roadway, so we can't go too wrong. Yeah. So the entire yellow line to here. Just tie tie one end here. How many? How many yards have we got there? Uh, well, in feet, we've got 500 foot. I've probably used 80 foot up the last wall. What? So. Yeah, okay. So keep going. Uh, we've been so careful yeah. in the back. Yeah, so I remember this those two big large boulders. Ridiculously bad. Any of this goes, it's, it's oh, sorry. Right. A KO call. Right. Keep going. So I keep stopping because one hand is on the road, one hand is on the torch. Right, let me let me unwind it then. You're right, you're right, you're right. Close. Let's look at the map. Bizarrely enough, I know I can't remember the bit before. 17A plus, right. And the and the roadway should go back on yourself, yeah. sort of thing. But I, say. I think I can kind of remember in. this bit. But well, I can't remember the other bit. Seven to eight plus. I can see where we are on the map. So I think we're going to do a through, a, th a round trip back to the entrance we came, you know. Pretty much. Which will be interesting. Right, let me see. As long as you have a good route idea of where we've come. Do you just saw that later on we can go, oh, that's the route we took. Oh yeah, we're clear where we came. 17, 17, A plus. Mm. And it's got the KRS preparation signs, which is fantastic. It's great because it curves in and around these flat beds. Right. How did you cut it last time? Um, just, just with a... Yeah, just some sandstone. It takes quite a few times because the rock wants to break ground. Mm. The... Anyway, that sharp edge. Yeah, actually. Do you know what? My lighter is actually in my bag packet. Why don't I that? Right. Got the yellow line. Okay. 
go around. Here you are, okay. That's good, just. Let me feel this. That's probably 300 foot left. I've got a lot of tape in the way of my No, I know, I know, it's fine. But it makes you think of how much has been used. To do the other ones, yeah. That's incredible. That's what I was saying earlier, that blue rope. Imagine how heavy that would have been. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of line laid out. Yeah. Laid out, is this? So, we are playing safe. Now, this is interesting. The yellow line here. You know that light green one we saw earlier on? It crosses on? over that way, yeah. We've, we've met up with that light green one again. Right, let's not get... Let's, let's ignore any confusion, anything that leads to yeah. confusion. We stick to our plan, okay? Right. Which well, we follow the road, which we this, follow our, our line. Yeah, well this goes that way. And there are signs saying CRO. So right, we're there, we're there. It's an old tenant's camp. Yeah, that's well old, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Tenant super. Can you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> it was like super Treat kind of, yeah, very strong. I think right, we... so we laid, we laid the yellow line, so we know where we're going here. And we're gonna, so that's why we're going to be careful to, to be like, oh, I've seen this line, let's follow it. Uh, fuck that, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna stick to a plan here. So, so Our plan, obviously, is following the main roadway, is it? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because you've got... This an, is going to confuse us I now. think that's an out. This might confuse us now because this is kind of a passageway now. Yeah. So we've got to lay something that's telling us, don't go this way. Okay? Uh, can I just point to something there? Come on. Right? You see that string which we've been following? Yeah. It goes now round the corner. Yeah. Yeah. And see that? C R O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So will you say we go that way then? Well actually. We can do it a scout for a short while, but it does say C R O that way, so yes. this is the confusion, you got arrows yeah, and yeah, then you've got so, an arrow there that's so shall trying we, to tell you the next Shall up. we follow shall we follow this for a while and then decide to go that way? Yeah. 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 Okay, we came behind us, it's very clear. Okay. We've got a light blue and it says out. And the sign saying follow track. On a single roadway, but well, we are following lines here, so we can't go wrong. <laughs> that school is it's kind of doing what's supposed to say on the map, sort of curving around. Much. 
collapse. We stick it to the green line, it's been the most consistent, yeah. obvious one, yeah? yeah? To be honest, all three are going the same way, are they? Wow, look at this yeah. amount of timber that's come down, that's crazy. Right? Wow. Right. Oh my giddy out. Horse tracks. Yeah. Proper horse tracks. Horse tracks? Well, donkey tracks. Yeah, oh, I think wow. these are the ones wow, I've wow. seen before. I've never seen this before. Wow, that's amazing. So, oh, I like that. Yeah, I have been here before because I know that goes to a dead end. Wow. Yeah, this, uh, this minus hobnail book prints, as you can see, that could have been the front of the, the top of the hobnail wood print, and the more open rounded ones, that could have been the heel. They are definitely minus, minus marks. Right, that's the, that's the heel, definitely. You can see here, that's heel. Very distinguished. Wow, you know, these have been well preserved, even though there's a lot of traffic of people here because it's kind of a compacted mod, you know. Yeah, yeah nice. But I think the only the, the only reason that it, it has stood, it's obviously got a lot of aggregate in it as well. It's not just mud, is it? It's, it's mud and stone. Yeah. And it's formed a, a, a rudimentary type of mortar. Yeah. the consistent green line here which hasn't abandoned us as it there comes day Right. 
fresh here. And I think uh, we are kind of what we want to do really. That one big thing back. Right, watch out. This is where you've got to be careful because this is where we want to, if we're going to be carry on from here, we definitely need yellow line. No joke, this, as we know. Number, number two plus one. Right, it says out here, but. Let's take, a, let's take a breather, shall we? Yeah. Uh, I think we need a little snack or something. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. And uh, we'll carry on from here. Hopefully we're going to do a big round trip here, which would be... A piece of old newspaper there. Interesting. Do you have a date on it? No. Go on, shall we? And there's not really much to be able to there's do. Not a new, there's not a prominent news feature, is there, that you could date it? No. Let's get a, not getting confused. Do let's, a line. Let's lay a, a, a yellow line, line yeah. from, from oh. that. G5 yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Way, yeah, this way, this way, because we've got to totally ignore the blue line. Yeah, way. this way, Richie. This way, there is a sign here that says orange line out. So shall we do follow the orange line? Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, try to the orange one. Oh, that's the yeah, just another one spot. That's tied to the post, is it? Yeah. It says orange out. So <coughs> shall we shall we listen to the advice? You can follow the orange if you want to film you. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Going down. Oh, 
Yeah, it's quite yeah. steep as well, isn't it? <laughs> we have been here. Today? Yeah. I recognise this. You know where the blue line ended? That's where we followed, the blue line. Right? Day is beautiful when you see it coming out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're always glad to get out, aren't it, at the end? Must have been awesome for the miners because going home it was just an extra on top actually seeing daylight. Just in case, you know. Hey, that's life. Oh, yeah. No way. See, we hunt for ages for a way out, and then I'll let two buses come along at once. Oh wow, hey, oh, this is the easy way out. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I was getting a bit confused. Yeah, the, the fencing at the top's in a better condition, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I didn't yeah. remember having such a difficult... Yeah. <coughs> this is going to be the easy way out. Of course, yeah. All right, so now we know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we can't get lost. So let's let's take a quick look up here. But this is this is gonna be good for a photo anyway. Yeah. So that end here. What's this? Yeah, we kind of gone round. Mm. Up there. Come on, guys. You see, we, we're very near the surface, so as that goes up so much, I wonder if it's another eye tip. If you can get up there. Wow. Amazing now. <coughs> yeah. Don't we need four wheel drive? Yeah. 
actually, this, this has these signs, they're quite good, are they? It literally points you out the way out. That's the... Oh wow, I've not seen that before. Yeah, some rails here. Yeah, I haven't seen this before. The chain? Yeah. Some rails here. So we've got three strings. I mean, you can see why kids would get lost originally with no markers, no nothing. Oh yeah. You know. So easy. Right, look at this. Line there, you can see the SD right there. That's a good marker. Let's, let's just go. Oh, I think that's the brain line we followed anyway, isn't it? This one? No, that one that we followed to the from the entrance. Yeah, it is. It's the, you can see the entrance there to the left. Yeah. yeah. Right, focus here will be cool as well. So we've had water running into it. <coughs> yeah. That is probably the best preserved Actually, oh, of the wood here. Yeah. yeah, there's some there's gonna be some good photos here man. Oh, this is gorgeous. And there's some big chambers as well. You know. Wow. It's quite imposing, isn't it? Big. <laughs> Yeah. Right, we have we have this line. I mean I don't want to go much further in because really we've got a lot of focus to pay. Yeah? Mm-hmm. We're in the kind of biggest area anyway, are we? Well if I would take some pictures of this area. A good photo is taken from where I'm stood now. Wow, look at that. And one person at the beam shining up, and then someone on the other Like that, the. I like this area, folks, that's right. Yeah. I'm going to set it up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take video on the way out, kind of thing, as well. Yeah. And um, they're quite impressive, folks. You know what? Uh, you guys notice the packs, the metal packs on the wall there. Yeah. Yeah. They must, obviously, they were holding the series of beams. Yeah. Right there, right yeah. there. Let's see if I can get a bit closer to one of them. Oh, yeah, they're interested in the bones, isn't it? The box is bones. All right. Yeah. Rusted packs. Still.
placed in here. And, and uh, he stole this actually, but there is, is, there is yeah. a nice we're just going to see what's uh, inside. stone level, which is the sort of thing really you want to see because the, the craftsmanship the craftsmanship involved to do a arch stone level like the one we're going to see is just something really special. So, yeah, we'll let you lead the way. I think uh, a lot of uh, sheep made a home here, judging by the amount of pieces we have. Yeah, that, that was whole last year when we came in. I think sheep actually seek refuge here, you know, in the winter. Yeah, because of the warmth, yeah. Because, let's not forget, uh, these mines are warmer in winter and cooler in summer, so the kind of natural thermostats. Yeah, as you know, when you go come in these in the, in the winter, it's nice, it's like walking up, back in home. Yeah. Wow, nice, yeah. uh, nice little roadway here. Is that it? Is that the stone level? Yeah. Wow. Oh yes, that's the one. Wow. That is a stone level. So, this would have been one of the original drift entrances, you know. I'm pretty sure this was the main haulage level. Mine. It's very very similar to the one I've seen in uh, inside Passive. Mm. Now, I think it was the actual tracks and the actual um, mine carts which used to come down here. I think. Looking at the maps which I've seen, but this would have directly gone into the other part of the mine. But isn't the ceiling weird here? Are it being lower than the well, earth? Yeah, yeah, very strange. Oh, it's a bit of work here, it's nice. I think it'll be a good photo, we're very right. Yeah, that's the end. It doesn't go very far, but it. <coughs> Turn this off. Just Richard, we'll do just one person, I think, for this tunnel. That's interesting, isn't it? Oh, it's polystyrene. <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird rock. I'll tell you what, if, if you clear some of these fallen rocks, the ship would be coming up probably a deeper way. Yeah. Actually. Right, so we're done for today. Wasn't what I was expecting. I was doing more surface stuff, but uh, bumped into these two. Going down down and tackle will go down as well. I won't go in down there on my own. And a big thank you. And a big thank you to, and a big thank you for, to Antonio as well. Let me come on you explore. It's been a pleasure, Cheers. yeah. It's been a nice surprise actually. To up, eh? When you came out, did you expect you had been doing modelling today? No, I thought that. I didn't expect I was going to be on a photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. Right. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.